Hello everyone, welcome to Legends of Podcasting. I'm Stuart. I'm Ross. And I'm Rock. And we're here for episode 8, season 3 of Stargirl. Mm-hmm. So last time Stargirl, we just, you just watched it. What a cliffhanger! Part 1. Jenny mm-hmm. is back with now a corrupted wait. Green Lantern ring. Ages to find out what's going to happen. Oh no, wait. Yeah. <laughs> nope, we literally have just watched it, so we're in. So yeah, Jenny is um, and Shade are sort of pulling each other's powers, so mm-hmm. making them both weaker. Yeah, so we had a big... Um, flashback thing with Todd, her brother. The two D's. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Bug with two Z's. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we so, and he sort of got this sort of black um, shadow powers. Shadow yeah. powers, yeah, which, like creatures come out as well as the Green Lantern power. Somehow, somehow that is connected between those two as well. I'm assuming. Yeah. It kind of makes sense, even if the even if they didn't do that black thing going into the ring in the last series, it still makes sense. That would make sense more than that. Mm. Um, the fact that he had, has sort of the power of both. Um, so we had that, yeah, we had the, the uh, cameras all being dismantled or destroyed, if you're uh, yeah. our man. Zeke, with his great knowledge, <laughs> was uh, and he's taking a camera. Yep. Yeah. So. Taking a camera with a flash, it still works. Um, and he gave uh, Jakeem a little bit of advice to maybe how the wishes work. Yeah. So you need to see if that pans out. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, because it's not sure enough to say it, you need to want it. Yeah, want yeah. it with your heart. <laughs> yes. And even though when he spoke to Seth Green, Thunderbolt, he even said, yeah, do it with your heart. So maybe he was right, or maybe it's another great prank and it's going to go even worse. <laughs> you see it with your heart, it means it happens like yeah. ten times. Mm. Mm. Ten times worse. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All good stuff. No Sylvester in the episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Lando got kicked. Oh yeah, so yeah, oh, yeah. by a bitchy mum. So yeah, fuck her mum. Yeah. So she's going to have to make up pretty fast a quarter if she's going to be living with her. <laughs> yeah, very true, yeah. I fucking hate you, but I'm gonna live here. Yeah. Are you gonna be happy about it? Yeah, um, yeah we got some sort I'm of. I'm taking your room. <laughs> <laughs> I look like Helix, the um, face with Doc, Mr. Bones, Doctor Bones, Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones. Um, it was kind of like they were helping. Yeah, they, they were actually trying to help him, which mm. is a bit weird. So yeah, or well, they, well, they, they picked him up, they wanted to exploit him, but they realised they couldn't control his powers. So yeah, they, they, no, no, they can't no. control him until yeah. he can control it himself. So, maybe. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What they're doing seems to be hurting him. I know he's oh, yeah. sort of trying to. I don't know. They're trying to purge the thing out of him. Yeah. Think, with the white light and trying to purge the shadows out. Because even when Jenny was like, "We'll get you out," he goes, "No, don't get me out." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I can destroy the world. So, yeah. and then Pat and uh, Shade end up in the Shadowland, which is assuming where Jenny and uh, Courtney are as well. So, no, but I thought we would have seen them if they'd gone in, because they kind of like blocked yeah, the them. So yeah, I think true. it might just be them too. That'd be a pretty cool episode. It's just Shade and Pat for this yeah. episode. Though. Yeah. They're trying to figure something out inside there while. They're Je- uh, Jenny and Courtney outside trying to appeal to oh, Stripe season and yeah. kick some ass in the Shadowland. That's how, that's how we have an episode with Pat, and he's been quite sidelined for this series. <laughs> cool, alright, so let's jump into this episode. And just before we do jump into this episode, trick you, haha. Um, just want to thank everyone who's been subscribed to the channel over the past week, but if you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Don't make me come through the Shadowland and get you. Click on that subscribe button, two seconds of your life. Click on the subscribe button, and I uh, want to get to 20,000 subscribers by Christmas, so please, please, click on that button. So one more time, click on the button. Okay. Keep annoying you and saying it. Um, and also, we can if you head over to our Patreon, we have full reactions of this show and all the other shows we react to, so you can sign up there as well. And let's jump into this episode of Stargirl. Hey, are we in the Shadowlands? Yes, because you insisted on helping those irksome children. Ah, oh, for reasons I don't understand, have the power of the shadows. Like me. Me coming into direct contact caused some kind of feedback which seems to banish the sphere. Okay, we gotta find a way back. That, that's, that's a brilliant strategy. I'm truly <laughs> watching a master at work. Hey, Swift, I'm doing the best that I can. Yeah, yeah. Please, please don't apologize. I can think enough for the two of us. Let's get home. <laughs> Seems until Jenny's ring is free from its corruption, I'm as useless as you. Where are these people? Where are these people? Father didn't want you. Your filth. 
as long as it takes. Stop, Stop touching him! For fuck's sake! Jesus Christ, girl. I'm going to throw it now. <laughs> Guardian's like, what the hell is going on? She's like, she's like, uh, what do I do with this? What, what is, what is this? No one can remember any phone numbers anymore. What's going on? Where are my friends? I didn't hear a man in there anywhere. Such disrespect. Oh, you want to talk about disrespect? All that I learned. But you don't understand how necessary it was. Your drop-in visit tonight interrupted a very important procedure. And now you have endangered everyone, including him. The whole world could be swallowed up in shadow if we don't get him under control. You have been to this place? It's where the Shade gets his power from. And talk, it looks like. Jenny's wig is still connected to the shadow. <laughs> that isn't normal. Is <laughs> anything normal in this town? Also, doorways here, they usually take you where you most desire to go, taking their cues from the subconscious. Keep moving, avoiding the hungry wraiths your insecurities will no doubt conjure up until I can... I can find a way out. I bet he's the one that's going to be insecure. <laughs> should have taken us somewhere else. Why? Because the diner is insignificant to me. Well, that's not entirely true. Hey! Very cool. But this is where you refuse to forgive me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Oh, because he met him in the diner, right? Because he was trying to get him. Gambler. It's not him. Ignore him. You caused your sister so much pain. She still forgave you, didn't she? Do you remember? Out. Go away from here. Damn it. Is this his dad? Yeah. Who is that? It's my army father. Well, what are you standing around for? Grab a wrench. She's the light and he's the darkness, they need to be together to try to balance it out. Though I keep showing this bit of them hands breaking constantly. Hello? Like a yin and yang. Right? Yeah, like if they, connect, if they connect together properly. Why would you touch that? Has that been dampened the ring? You want to help me, son? I always tried to. Every time you tried to fix something, you made it worse. I was never proud to call you my son. Twists their words. No, not this time, Shade. My real father spoke every word of this. Playing second fiddle to everyone in your life. Yeah. You've never been a standout, a leader. Don't turn your back on me. I should have been harder on you. Oh, green. Green tint there as well. This is his sister. 
Which is Emily, right? Yeah. yeah. What is it? Nothing that I care to see. You're not allowed to leave. It's green. Oh. Yeah. people that you love, this spare me your bleeding heart sentiments, but you're telling me about the darkness. I'm just saying, maybe the key here is to face things. You don't run away. I'm incapable of feeling anything. Oh shit, mate, that's what I like to hear. Feel this. Bang! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My appearance is not a choice I can make. My mother was subjected to experiments while pregnant with me. Beyond my flesh being transparent, I was born with a cyanide touch, these doctors call it. Anything I come into contact with dies. That included my mother. Shit. Nurse Love rescued me from the people who did this. Here at Helix, we help those like us learn to live a life of isolation. You teach them how to hide from the world? We help our patients survive the only way they can. If we cannot suppress God's power, he will destroy us all. Hey, you okay? Traveling through the fire like that, I don't... I don't think I could do it again. But the truth is, I didn't say anything to my sister the day she died, because I wasn't there. Losing people is just too hard. Forget that lining. We're not done, son. Then it's still too close to dark. We need to take her far from here. Maybe I wasn't born like Jimmy or Tom. Or you. But I know what it's like to lose family. Jimmy and Todd are meant to be together. She is the light he needs, not those lamps. My power, James, it all reacts to how we feel. That's why I think Todd's connection with Jimmy is the only thing that can save him. Because if we're alone, what's the point of anything? Great graphic, isn't it? Mm. That light shining through. If you're wrong, we all die. He's a good, kind of a good guy. Ugh, oh, it's great. Fucking love the show. Courtney, where's Todd? Waiting for you. You need to be with him. But when I touched him, you both were frightened. And you know what that does to you and the fire. What can we do? Do what we did for you. Stand with him. Don't go away. Have faith. Love, not fear. You think I'm a bad father, right? But look at your son. He does everything he can to get your attention. But you don't see Mike at all. So like you, he feels worthless. Mike's mom abandoned him when he was, what, three or four years old? She got strung out and left him in a soup kitchen. You got Mike and left and never spoke about mommy again. But 
wanted him to forget Maggie and move on. Mike thinks about his mom every day. He doesn't say it. But he feels as unwanted as Courtney does. One day, I'm going to hate Courtney as much as you hate your dad. I don't hate him, Mike. I don't. I never did. Oh, shit. Almost looks like Trigo. Yeah, it's I thought this ain't working, so... Straight in the room with it. Todd, I... All I know is we finally found each other. Go, please. Todd left his ring for me. He knew we would find each other with it. We've always been connected. We always will be. We have to be here. They need to kill the gambler, it wasn't them, right? Because the camera was in it. Hmm. Well, I guess you were right. Where's the skeleton guy? He's calming some of our other patients. What you're doing here isn't right. All of our patients are free to go anytime they wish. No one is being held against their will. That's actually true, Courtney. Stop feeding them yeah. lies. Yeah. Spying on us like you've been doing? Spying on you. They were behind the cameras? What are you talking about? Inside our home? We did no such thing. Then how do you know so much about us? We do our research. Uh, yes, nothing. Sir. Yes, well. I mean, we haven't seen the guy watching the cameras. Yeah, and he was making a photo Speaking of a skull. of bones, but it's not him. You didn't happen to teach fifth grade math back in the early 1980s in Omaha, Nebraska, did you? I don't care for your attitude. <laughs> no, no, shell. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, Courtney Whitmore might have been right in her style. About what? My solution might not be. Maybe Helix can form a team of our own. Ooh, with a jet in the hangar. It's possible. <laughs> you know, I still can't believe that there's someone else out there with the same powers as mine. I mean, you've lived like this for over a hundred years, Shade. If there's anything on the planet that can help Todd figure this out, it's not Helix. It's you. I, I'm no teacher, Pat. You helped to destroy the JSA. I did not kill. You were an accessory. Whether you want to face that or not, those kids right there, 
They're big orphans that were left behind. That, that's enough. She tries it. Ah, oh, yes. Hello. Um, rather than make my exit, I'd like to extend a hand if you're amenable to my help with the shadows. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. I'm not so sure. Oh, then please turn me down. <laughs> I do need to get to New York. New York? That's where Sandy Hawkins is. Wesley Dodd's nephew. Wesley Dodd's the Sandman? I'm sorry, what? So look, that's how I knew Todd was here. What? New York, fine. But these are going to be different from now on. None of your outlandish theatrics. Right, follow me. <laughs> Sure. I'd love a spin-off show with them. They, they got hit by Shadow as well, so they're stuck in wherever they are. <laughs> yeah. 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 How do we get home? Yeah. yeah. Question. Who put the cameras in the house? If Helix hasn't been the one spying on us, then who? You see it? You see? Surely it's gonna come away. Grandparents? I mean, that's the only people I can think of. Sewers. Who is down here? What are we actually gonna see? Slow panning, man, come on. Spinning. Keep spinning. It's gonna cut before you see it. Damn it. Someone with a black hood on. Minute man. You think this is <laughs> Who could it be? It's gonna be something new then, right? That's a big twist because I, I honestly thought, I mean, they obviously made it look like it was Dr. Mr. Bones for the whole time. Someone we've already seen or someone brand new? We so haven't seen anybody new this season, right? No, Bob, well, yeah, Dr. Bones, Mr. Bones. But he was last yeah. season as well. Oh, well, yeah, true. And then then nobody say, knew in the next. A bit of misdirection. He wasn't really a villain in the strictest sense, he no. was just trying to help people like himself. But in not a great way. Yeah. There's a good way of doing it though to make you think it's him the whole time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll say get I get most of the way through the season thinking it's him. When the hood came up, I thought it was uh Arrow Man for a second. Mm. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> he's gone completely villainous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Could be anybody, right? Kind of like the one that if there's a wizard robe or something like that, he's my brother blood, but he's showing up in Titan, mm. so I can't be because of him. But is that why there's a crossover? Unless it is Craggy King. Yeah, I did think that when I saw the hood actually. Yeah. Well, happened, it looked like his, what happened to him at the end? He looked like skin is like normal skin between the glove yeah, and the true. thing though. Did he get killed at the end of season one? Did Cindy kill him? I think so. Yeah, I think either she did or Grundy did. There's a big fight in his like lab. Yeah, right? lab, yeah, I'm pretty sure he definitely died. Hmm. Well, whoever it is, we find out it's the place. It's a pretty good twist. Yeah, it's good. He's kind of true. Like, I think the, the Shadowlands meant to be like make you doubt yourself. I kind of do agree with the bit where he talks about Mike. Mike's Mike. grieving as well, not just yeah, Courtney. Yeah, yeah definitely. And he's been feeling like sort of left out, maybe trying to yeah. show because he had the he had the pen, but he lost it. Yeah. He, um, yeah, he keeps trying to prove stuff to yeah. you. Be, be, you and he's been a little too. bit sidelined at the beginning of the season as well. Yeah. yeah. He was letting he was sort of like being let onto the team in season two and he didn't because he's got no powers, he kind of yeah. silent again. 
<laughs> yeah, I hope when he gets back, he kind of changes his attitude to mm. like. Because it was Courtney, her, was it her, um, her show and Mum was saying, "Oh, I gave up my life because for you." And yeah, yeah. And when she talked to Mum about it, Mum was like, "No, you're the best thing that happened to me." It's like you seem yeah. to come talk to. Her. Yeah, I think. Mm. I think yeah, he's, yeah, definitely he's mm. going to talk to to Mike. And you may even talk to talk to him about his mum. Maybe he's never mentioned who his mum is. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I think that's what he might. You know, he, know, he, knows, he knows his mum's name because he says he thinks about it every day. <coughs> mm. He yeah. just doesn't say it. So I think there'll be like a nice little heart to heart between them two. I hope so. That'd be very good. Such a great show, man. Mm. Watch more of you. I, I, I don't know. Why, I don't know about the views are like this, but the viewings are like. But I just don't think enough people are watching the show. No. Mm. So, so well done. It's really, really good. It's up there with Superman and Lois. Yeah. On writing and stuff. So I really like the fact that um, Shade's gone off to go and teach Obsidian. Yeah. 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 A great, great line from Pat as well about how, yeah, they're, they're, you're, you're kind of the reason why they're there because well, like, you helped orphan them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adam Scott. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's such a good idea. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you, you know extend yeah. this in my hand that was quite a cool little thing with Sandman as well yeah I'd be interested that's the in... Wesley Dodd Sandman not the Sandman from the show mm. yes like not the actual god it's the one like, well that's the thing I know from, I know from the Justice Society comics because he was a guy that used to have a gun that put people to sleep yeah he was like, 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 like with um, uh, Grey Ghost Steel and all that with yes. it yeah but in, in the Sandman comic the original Sandman comic that the show's based on it turned out that the bag he's got with the sleeping powder was Sandman's when he got captured yeah. at, the, at the start, you know, the start of the show, he's in prison. Yeah. Um, when that happened, he lost all his accoutrements, and Wizzy Dodd ended up with the sleep dust, which he used to put his criminals to sleep. But it also gave him prophetic visions, so he has nightmares of the future. Right. Okay. Um, stuff that he, like, like um, Doctor Fate. Show, is that show been on? Yeah, it's on mm. Netflix. Mm. Yeah, it is, isn't yeah. it? Okay. It's on Netflix or a Prime. It's on one of the streaming services. Mm. Um, HBO. HBO. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, uh, it is HBO. Yeah, he kind of has like nightmares, but like um, Doctor Fate did in Black Adam. Yeah, like he yeah, sees the future. Just, yeah, he said that his son is having the same problem. That was quite cool. Mm. Mm. I mean, I'd love a spin-off show with Shade, Jenny, and Crocs. Yeah, hope comes, awesome. I mean, hope, comes, I hope they come back. I like, mean, he looks obviously he can have a team mm -hmm. show up, surely. Well, that's why we've probably got a few, we saw a few of them straight well, away, didn't we? Infinity Inc. I'm guessing will be the yeah. team. Yeah. yeah, the only one of them I know is from Countdown, Infinite Crisis. Course, where yeah. Luther created Infinity Inc as a team of corporate superheroes to go yes. against Justice League. Yes, yeah, and it was yeah. Nat, Nat's uh, Johnston Steel, Steel's daughter. Nat, right, okay. was in it, um, along with a few others. Yeah. Yes, I didn't recognise any of those names when they've shown. But I know, I know, you probably should. I know Penny Dreadful, but that's from a different comic universe entirely. So I'm getting confused. <laughs> so that's a, Fair um, enough. Hmm, interesting. I wonder, if that, I wonder if that team will show up this season, or if it'll be. Yeah. Or would it be a good team? Or would it be try and or try and help? But I guess they've been hmm. isolated yeah, so long they don't understand the difference between right and wrong. Because they've been they've been isolated because their powers are dangerous, right? So yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the thing that they've been problem. told they're dangerous by Bones because he is, sees himself that way. Yeah. So with control, they could maybe yeah. make it work. Quite a sad story, uh, origin story of him, isn't it? Mm. Mm. She killed his, killed his own mother because he touched her. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't look like any of the ones we saw were Gabba's daughter. Mm. So still money on her being the one that ended up killing her dad. Well, yeah, especially they, they had nothing to do with it. So. I mean, that could be she could be the one under that hood, right, at the end? Could be. Mm. Yeah, misdirection. Very, yeah, I mean, it'd be interesting if we find out before the last episode of the series or if it's just going to be kept secret the whole time. Well, they got what was it? Thirteen episodes this season, I think so. And five left. Yeah, yeah. The last little sort of finishing arc now. Gah, mm. bloody awesome! Mm -hmm. All right, so we're on to next week. So on us, episode eight, season three of Star Girl. I think your thoughts, theories. Who is the person in the hood at the end? If it's not Mister Bones, I don't know who you think it is, and where you think season's going to finish off. And do you want to see a spin-off show with Shade, Jenny, and Todd? I think your thoughts on that. Um, if you want to see the full reaction of this episode, head up to our Patreon where you find the full reaction of this episode, the rest of the series, and all the old shows we react to. We also, if you're watching this right now, you're not subscribed, you've just listened to us waffle for ages, so you might as well click the subscribe button so the next time we put a video up and waffle even more, you get a notification on it. It'd be great. Please click the subscribe button. We also have social media and also do a podcast, so links in the description below. And we will see you very soon for the next episode of Stargirl.